sometimes the ones we're most afraid of end up being really good. I had a case where they wanted to depose the ex-wife. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not going to, because the guy testified that after he had a surgery, the ex-wife helped take care of him some. And so, you know, I'm scared to death with the ex-wife. Um, but she testified like, look, we didn't get along. You know, we couldn't be married, but he was a great dad. And before the crash, he, he'd take my son to the park every Saturday. He'd all, do all these things. And now he still takes my son to the park, but he just sits there and because it hurts him. And he tries, but then it hurts too much. He sits back down. And my son comes home crying saying, you know, daddy doesn't love me anymore. And he's like, no, Mahito, daddy still loves you. He just can't do it. And it was such compelling testimony. And nobody thought that the ex-wife would, would lie. And so, you know, we ended up getting a seven-figure settlement on a case with about $300 in property damage. On that yeah. case. Uh, and I think the ex-wife is what put it over the edge because, again, she was so credible. Yeah. And it's and it's real. I mean, what the jury wants to hear is real stories. Thank you for joining us on Trial Lawyer Nation. 